What's going on YouTube? It's okay, Mom. We're back with episode 8 of our two-handed mace build. So now that we've defeated the troll, we're going to be heading back to Bryn. I do believe the next contract we have to knock out will be the humanoid dungeon. I've been debating whether or not I want to get that reset and instead go into the vampiric dungeon, but we're going to risk it. We're going to risk it. We're going to carry a lot of traps. Uh, we can definitely destroy the human's armor, right? Uh, we do have a lot of armor damage, a lot of armor penetration, so they shouldn't be as much of a threat. I am worried about the mages, however, because uh, getting close to a mage is going to be a pain in the butt. So with that being said, let me organize my gear here. Um, we just have uh, some healing supplies left over from the troll fight. There's no... Yeah, I'll take a vivifying essence for sure. Be one less thing I have to purchase. And uh, I don't see anything else here worth the value. So we're going to head back to Bryn. All right, John, made it back to Bryn and uh, talked to Burn just to double check to see what uh, contract it was. It just so happens that the contract reset to the Proselyte dungeon. So it looks like we're going to be heading over there next, Infested Catacombs. So we're going to head on back, uh, which I kind of like doing this one over the uh, the humans. The humans always scare me. I mean, the Proselytes are scary too, don't get me wrong, but uh, I've had better luck <laughs> against the Proselytes than I have against the humans. But I'm going to meet y'all up there. All right, we've made it back to the cathedral. We do have two traps to keep an eye out for. And as per usual, just be very cautious. I mean, there is only a one little rat that we can take out right now. So that's good. We have a chosen. Surprised he didn't see me. You see me now. Maybe. Maybe. Hello? Okay, there he goes. Um, let me wait for him to get a little bit closer before I pop my abilities here. Let's start off with this. Um, gonna wait. I'm wondering if I should start off with a slam in his face. You know what, let's do it. Ooh, yes. Seize the initiative so we can, uh... Now we're gonna block his attack. Freaking awesome. We used a lot of energy though. Just rep. Oh, oh, I don't wanna see you. You get the energy back. Okay. I'm gonna sneak around, I think. There we go. Wonder if he'll come to me. Cause he kind of saw us. Oh, now he will. Well, he's gonna aggro everybody, I'm sure. Wait for it. So we're gonna wind up. Slam him. Wind up. He's dead. Now the other one's gonna go off. We're gonna wait. Gonna wait, wait, wind up, number seven in his face, nice, wind up, he's dead, easy, 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 let's rest up again, there's a free net, I'm trying to think, do I uh, make room right now, probably could, Drop one of these. Healing salve. Drop my food. Reorganize. Drop one of the lockpicks. We'll come back from all later, but uh, this will help me at least. Yeah, another chosen. Seems to be by himself. Same idea as last time. Let's wait for him to get a little bit closer. Okay. I'm hoping he stays right there so we can push him against the wall. So five. Uh, can I maneuver myself here? No, no, I can't. Ah, oh, dang. If he moves right there, I can use this and push him against the wall. Or the uh, other slam. Let's uh, just wait in place. We'll wind up. Very nice. We didn't daze him though. Six.
He's bleeding. And it, oh my god, his head is so injured. That's crazy. Dead. <laughs> wow. Oh, somebody somebody heard us. Get an energy back. That is not the boss room, which is good. Easy enemy. Is that the only one inside though? If it is even better. There we go. Easy, easy. And then a bat. And a spitter boy. Nice! Oh, get wrecked! Now the rat's running away. Nothing in here. Okay, let's rest up, get the energy back. I think that was... Okay, not what I was thinking. Um, where's a good position? I think right here, he can't stab us. Okay. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. We did not injure him, unfortunately. There we go. Mighty swing. One more big hit. Yeah, you're dead. Nicely done. Uh, silver plates. And some poppies. What's this? Clean scroll? Don't need it. Another silver plate. And a uh, Axis Treaty 1. I have to just drop it to the ground for right now. Another cleansing scroll. A sensor. Okay, we have two traps, two like uh, noise traps, that is. And we have a library. I'm assuming nobody's in this library. Yeah, I'll loot that later. This could be the boss. Nope, not small enough for the boss room. It's okay. He's going to use his one attack. Yep. We're going to wind up. Slam. We didn't do any damage to his head. Nice. Oh, and now he's, he's destroyed. Anything in this room? Oh, I hate those guys. What I'm thinking here. Post up. What? Oh my god, how can you see me from there? That's a bull. He did knock us back. Oh, no, he didn't. There we go. Nice. That wasn't so bad. Be the boss. Nope, there's a basement level, so we have to go downstairs. I do not like the start to this basement. Too many opened areas. Of course, that's going to be really bad for us. Yeah, it's going to be really bad. Let me heal my chest. Crap, 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 crap.
Oh, yeah, get wrecked. All right. Whew. Oh, my goodness. That's just really not good. Think in here. This is just not a very good order. Um. Maybe they'll forget about me. I mean, I doubt it. Get far enough away, maybe. They're not gonna knock on the door anymore, so we'll we'll go that way a little bit later. What I did? I pressed number one. How did you not see that? A sanguine mage. This is perfect. Perfect. Do that. Wait. Wind up. Bam. Destroyed everything. Let's go. And we got a counter attack. Another trap. Another liquor boy from a distance. That's not good. Well, <clears throat> let me think about this. He will probably pull us. He's got the tongue pole, which is five tile range. We're within to five tiles. Nice. Even better. We're out of energy. 39. We're bleeding. I didn't notice. He's dead anyway. I should take care of that bleed a little earlier. I'll just. Oh, God. Easy enemies. Let's go. Come here. Nice. And he dropped an unidentified potion. It's going to post up and rest. Also not the boss. So we're going to fall back to this point. It's going to be more advantageous for us. Wait for him to come. Hoping that would work. Let's go. Another spitter. Let's go. And we've leveled. Put another point back into strength. We'll be a little hungry here soon. Uh, next point. I think self repair would be a little bit better. Uh, add more bleed chance and then we'll go down this route. Not the boss, but it got some easy enemies in here. There we go. Moving on. This is very likely going to be the boss room. Yep. Uh. Okay. Let 
that hurts. I'm thinking here. Who poisoned me? If he steps into this trap even better, that's when I'll start uh, really attacking him. He did not. Not doing what you're supposed to do there, guy. Okay. Ouch. Let's go. Let's go. He still got so much HP. Do it again. Okay, we got we got we got we got to use it. 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 We got a counter attack. We're bleeding. He's dead. GG. We need to take care of the bandage and then splint up. Okay. Good job. It was a little scary because I wasn't anticipating the boss being right there, so my energy was a little low considering we had to take on another enemy. Uh, so not too bad. Not too bad at all. Pick that up. Pick this one up. I'm probably going to use those traps up here in this room. Oh, I'm glad you didn't join the party. Oh my god. We probably would have died. And he dropped the silver topaz ring. Lovely. Don't necessarily need more accuracy. This chest is going to contain a heavy Erdax, a counter chance belt, uh, the king's bust. I can probably leave that behind. Wardrobe with pyro three. Nice. The wardrobe with the caskets. I'm going to take a couple trips up here. I'm pretty sure uh, I didn't have my backpack. I don't recall where I left it. Um, I probably left it outside of the withered tomb. Uh, would be my guess. Another unidentified potion. What does this shelf have? Don't need that. Leave it behind. Another shelf. Yeah, no, no, thank you. How about the cupboard? Ooh, got two books in here. Oh my god, Electro 4 and Dual Wield 3. Fantastic stuff. I just have to drop that right now. Again, we'll end up dropping all the items off outside. And we have an enchanting scroll. We're going to use it on the ring. It's going to give us pain resistance. All right, we already know there's enemies on the other side of this door. Um... So what we're going to do is use that. Oh, I was able to move before he got the the net off. That's interesting. Okay. Let me think about our next move. Let's see. If I, if I switch and, and put a net down, that's be switch one move net down two moves switch back that's three moves and he's, he can move one two and three oh he failed nice let's inspect here I'm gonna move away because he's gonna have to 
to move forward anyway. Um, thinking about this. He doesn't want to step into it or do anything to the trap. What are you doing? You have to step there, dude. I'll be able to use this ability, so that's good. You have to step there. You have to do it. And this guy's going to spit at us. Let's, uh, find out. Now we're going to charge. Deflect. Ooh, nice. Let's use the initiative. Push him. We got him confused. We're dazed. Perfect. Nobody in here. Nice. What's in the chest? My net back up there. Just gonna be some coins and a healing salve, and then we have like a not a bandage, but a, what do you call it? A rag. Another uh, war. Oh my god! Another electro four. I found like I don't know five of these already. This one playthrough. I swear. Uh, daggers too. Go ahead and read that. Take it. This is a pretty expensive dungeon. I mean. Rich, something like that. Um, yeah, wow, it's gonna take a couple trips in here. This is insane. Uh, the shelf's just got like a little dagger and then an aspergillum. Freaking awesome. All right, moving back up to the first floor. All right, there's a trap inside of this room. We have the daggers too. Cupboard's gonna be empty. Oh, let me switch my weapon back. Wow. Almost screwed up. Uh, another one of these guys. He sees us. So wait for him, wait for him, wait for him. Wind up. Charge him in the face. Seize the initiative. Wind up again. Take care of that bleed. Oh, oh no. Open all my bandages. Well, this sucks. Okay, the bleed's gone. I, I'm i going to need to take this rag with me now. So, uh, just in case we bleed again. I was almost going to be like, I don't need this. No, I kind of do. Uh, another book I to read. All right, now that we're back in the library, we can finally loot this place. Golden candelabrum. Bookcase empty. Some uh, silver cutlery. Another book. This one's going to be uh, Spears 3. Another bookshelf with some dice. And the last bookshelf is going to be empty. I think that's about it. So all the other rooms we did loot as we went along. So we got to go outside, drop some items off. And uh, basically pick up all the good stuff. Oh, I avoided that trap. All right, y'all, we're finally back in town. I went ahead and cleared out all of my inventory. And uh, I kind of spent all my cash, too, on uh, a Paragoric and an Elven Mud. Uh, essentially, what I want to do is sell all of the items after we complete the next dungeon. Again, we'll do like a little selling montage like we did the previous two episodes ago. But either way, got my reward. Infested Catacombs, 850 gold. Fantastic. Next contract is the captain of the deserters. Before we hop in and do that, we do once pick up our claw traps, rest up, and uh, get a good start for the next day. So, that being said, let me just go ahead and accept a contract right now. Um, my healing trap, trap. The nets have been repaired. No, no, they have not. I better get those repaired real quick. Before we accept any contracts, all right, y'all, I think we're now finally ready. Uh, all I need to do is accept the contract. We're going to grab some food uh, to take along with us. But outside of that, we're going to grab this contract, rest up. So contract, captain of the deserters, wish me luck. Till next time. All right, y'all, we're just outside of whatever this place is called. Fort Runfost. 
All right, see what we're working with here. An axe wielder, he's not too bad. Wait for him to get a little bit closer. Okay, we can't reach him. Crap. Well, we still got him. He still made his bleed, unfortunately. Good deal, good deal. So first guy's dead, we used up half of our energy, trying to get it back. We have a Spearman and another Axe Boy. Spearman hears us, I don't know about the other guy though. No, he didn't hear us, that's awesome! Wait. Let's go. Um, he's gonna have to step in. Let's go. Get wrecked. Get and rest up for more energy. There we go. Last guy. We... I, I messed up the timing on that again. Oh, even better though. Still made us bleed with that. Noise, noise, noise. Okay, let's hop on inside. I might have needed to take more bandages because we're bleeding a lot more than I thought we would. I mean, didn't we get this here? Adds 5% uh, bleed res to every single body part. You would think that would help out a lot, but apparently it has not. Um, spool of thread. And an ID scroll. We do have another vivifying. Let's go this way. Actually, you know what? This one's going to be way more advantageous for me. Yes, come to me, please. All right, that didn't work the way I, I anticipated. Get wrecked. We have a crossbow guy. Spear boy. Oh, that's gonna suck. So crossbow man's gonna see us. Good thing is the crossbow guy can't really do much from that position. So he does have to move forward. He failed his trap. Let's go. What kind of trap was it? He only took a little bit of damage. How can you see me? Got the jump on him. Close that door. Almost. Come on. We're just one step behind him. There we go. And he's dead. GG. Okay, what is that? Electromancer? Um... This hallway is hard to, to navigate. Um, we have to go for it. It is what it is, chat. Oh, he blew the frick up. Let's go. Gotta keep in mind, every time I wind up, I have like 30% reduced damage taken. I actually make that more like, it is 30%, but overall it'd be like 35% damage reduction. Let me take a look here. So we're at 95. So I mighty swing, 65. So we're reducing their damage by a lot. See what's behind this door. It's 
Probably not the boss. No, but there's a dagger boy down there. So five. Wait. Wait. Wind up. GG. Seize him. Block. He's dead. He dropped a short dagger. Not too bad. Alright, this is going to be the first kind of difficult enemy to take on. But uh, we do have a lot of armor penetration and armor damage. How do you, there we go. He sees us now. Okay, good job. Oh, he moved. He's dead. Just kind of clear that up for myself, because I don't want to get stuck in a position where I'm going to get knocked back into the wall. Actually, it's going to be a little rough if he comes to us. Let's go this way. That way he doesn't rush us. Yeah, way more advantageous. Do that. Wind up. Slam him against the wall. Wind up again. Slam him. Wind. Dead. Perfect. Another Electromancer. Quite a bit further away than the last enemy. Um. Yeah, he's going to run away. Kind of what I figured. They will be fighting the swordsman instead. My energy back. Okay. Wind up. Do this. Slam him against the wall. Wind again. Another slam against the wall. 35%. Let's just save our energy. And seize him. He's dead. We got a we gotta counter attack on that. It's okay. That's still fine. Nice. I was going to wind up, but I was afraid I would push him back and then it would screw me over. I'm thinking boss. If that's the case. Let's just destroy this bed. Okay. All right, chat. Wish me luck. Um, I think we got plenty of supplies. Maybe eat up again. Doing the healing efficiency one versus the energy restoration. Well, actually, this is both. Okay. Not who I thought it was. No worries. Good job. Even better job. Oh, yeah. Dead. Okay. We'll wait for it. Oh, I lost stacks. Either way. Getting that damage reduction is amazing. All right. First guy saw us. Wait for him to come to us. Wait for it. Wind up. Break his head. We did. We, we dazed him, but didn't break him. Still not damaged, but his armor is. I'm surprised. You know, 52% armor durability is kind of silly to me. Like, we have so much armor penetration and armor um, breaking. 100%. This is crazy. Come on now. There we go, dead. I do like it when we get this many stacks up, though, because every time we mighty swing, it's just insane. Insane damage. 30% uh, more additional armor pen, crit chance, knockback, stagger, everything. Good stuff. Come to me. Go back down to my killing chamber. Wait for it. Wait. 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 Oh, he can hit me from there. My bad. That didn't do what I was hoping it would do.
One damage. Oh my goodness. Another spearman. Wind up. There we go. And he's dead. Okay, we're now filled up with food. There's no water here. Check my water levels right now. I'm gonna actually take a drink. This could be the boss. It could lead into a, uh, a basement. Baby steps to find out. It's the boss room. There's that carpet. All right, uh, let's uh, drink some coffee. Make sure we have enough vigor for the fight. Let's make sure we have enough food to eat that up. And did I did I miss? Interpret? I misinterpreted! Oh no! I saw the carpet and got all excited. No. Judging by the look of this though, it's probably gonna be a basement. Oh my god, I screwed up. Okay, he's dead. I am liking taking this bandage. Another sword boy? Wait, wait. Wait for it. Wind up. Another slam to the head. We didn't damage him. No armor? How can you not do armor damage, bro? Like, all of my attacks should do armor damage. There we go. This looks like a small room. There's a basement. Oh my god. I thought I saw a guy over here, so let me take him out. Oh, it's the worst kind. This is gonna suck. Yep, we already know what's gonna happen. Just get next to him. Kind of figured he's gonna do that. Okay. Did you use this again? Oh, or it, you're not affected by it anymore. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, you're dead. How are you still alive? My goodness. Well, he's dead. Wasn't so bad. We managed. I am a little sad that it's a two floor. Uh, we will have to go back to town. There's just no other way around it. Get these boots enchanted, more energy. I'll take it. I was hoping to clear this in a uh, in one one fell swoop. It's not gonna work out that way though. Uh, ornate ink pots. And then the other bookcase garbage. Uh, let's see what we're working with inside of this room. Uh, it appears to be empty. So I'm going to loot this chest. Maybe we'll find something good. I don't know why I dropped those. <laughs> I just don't know. Pick them back up. All right, heading downstairs. What are we working with down here? We have 160 points of vigor. There is somebody down south. Boss room, I bet you. Not the boss. I really kind of want to go after this guy. What happens when you do this? Uh, grants negative 15% energy cost for three turns for uh, for each target that is knocked back by the strike. Mm -hmm. And then if affected by Mighty Swing, the, the strike that knocks the target back will put them our abilities on two to three round cooldown. Problem is, I also need to do this. And if I step forward, he steps back. Yeah, it's not going to work. Which put his stuff on cooldown. That didn't work the way it was supposed to.
I don't know why I did that. Don't don't ask questions. No clue. Where are you going? Why? You got your buddy involved? Why would you do that? I'll just sit up here and heal, bro. Knock those guys back. Oh, I destroyed the lights. Now it's too dark for you to see. Noise. He did crit us. Apply, apply. Next point goes into strength. And then we look over here. Let's grab this up. Yeah, we'll just... We'll do it. Do it. Three more turns of this. I could probably get this by the time we get to the Manticore. I would just have to go to the prison. Dazing, stunning, staggering. Targets with two-handed mace uh, strikes will apply them with less movement, less accuracy, and more fumble. Can stack twice. That's a pretty good one, too. Uh, let's do it. I'm going to try this. I know, I'm switching things up. I'm constantly switching things up. Okay, we have two boys. Two boys to deal with. Let me move here. Let me try this. Oh, that's a wrong move. <laughs> that was the wrong move. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attempt it, though. Nah, how about this? We'll, 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 we'll mighty swing. Okay. That was the wrong. Nice. Ooh, yes. Mighty swing again. I'm gonna hit him with number eight, see what happens. Ooh, my goodness. That was the free hit they were talking about. I messed that one up. Alright, I mean... We still ate up a lot of our energy, but that move is pretty hard. A fire mage. Fantastic. It's what I love to see. Can we get him to come to us, though? I doubt it. Okay, we already know this is going to suck. Okay, we got this. We got this. We got this. Let's go! Number eight. Dead. The axe boy didn't see us. We are in pain, but that's okay. We can take care of that right now. Great. My favorite kind of enemy. The freaking mage. The geo mage. Oh, you just, you just destroyed your energy, my guy. Yeah, 30%, he has no energy to do anything with. Flippin' easy. Oh, that guy's not too bad. Wait, wait, wait. Wind up. Let's, uh... And then number eight. That didn't give us me as, as much of a damage uh, boost as I was hoping. I must have fumbled or something. Um... No, it just says I hit the, the left arm. Why 11 crushing? I'm confused. Oh, and there's a trap! <laughs> Oh my goodness, get wrecked. This is not the boss room. Watch, there's an enemy right in that one square. No, no enemies. Okay, moving on. Yeah, this, this is going to have to be the boss chambers right here. I'm going to break these barrels so I have a little bit more room to move. Okay. Here goes nothing. 
Oh, he's an archer boy. And somebody else is an archer boy, I think. Okay, we have that guy. He did target Marcus. Oh my god. Oh my god, that hurt. Oh my god, that hurt. Holy fucking hell. Just gonna slap that down. Oh, well, that sucks. Good hit. He's dead. I doubt the uh, the archer boss is going to come to us. He is. Maybe. He came a little closer. That's, that's all I can tell you. We're going to catch him, though. Oh, interesting. Ouch. Did he just switch weapons? He did? I didn't know he could! I've chased this guy through a whole dungeon before, and he's never switched weapons. I guess if you trap him... Oh boy, I don't have any hidden stuff. Um, no worries, no worries, no worries. Um, number five. I have two hits on this. Less bleed, less control, less move. Uh, we're gonna do this. Forceful slam that butt. Damn. Good freaking hit. Um, he is stunned for one turn, so that hits number eight, which prolongs that attack, and then we get another free hit. Wind it up, seize the initiative. You're dead. Oh my goodness. You're wrecked. Dunzo. Oh, let's go. Let's freaking go. Noise, 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 noise. Um, this is like the last section. I don't think there's any more enemies to fight. I will uh, post up here and heal just in case there's more in here. I can't heal, so I have to heal naturally right now. Oh, feels good. Oh, there is another guy in here. Oh, fall back. Fall back. And then what we're going to do is... Bam! I missed. Oh, boy. Seize. Seven. He's dead. Again, I can't heal, so it's, it all comes down to um, just kind of regenerating naturally. Wardrobe's going to be empty. Empty. Nightstand's going to be empty. What about inside this chest? There's a visored um, Sir Serville, whatever you want to call it. Or seven or 714. Drop the, uh, the lettuce. Not too shabby. Pretty excited. Okay, check out the nightstand. Uh, we have a rag. Just in case, because I'm pretty sure up, up, uh, in the first floor, we have, like, one room left. Take some alcohol for some, uh, pain res. There we go. Moving on. We have another nightstand. It's gonna be empty, the cupboard. Empty, another nightstand. God, a little bit of gold, but at least it wasn't empty. Uh, ooh, the exquisite cowl. That'd be lovely to have if I was uh, a major boy. I'll take the ID scroll. Um, actually, I don't need this. I'm just going to drop the rag. I forgot. I still have a lot of healing, a lot of uh, a lot of items on me still. All right, we are back up on the first floor. Let's just take a quick look, make sure there's no secret areas left. All right, this dungeon's fully explored. That's good. What I want to do before we start looting the rest of this, however, is drop this uh, equipment off outside so we can free up as much space as possible. So I'll do that. I'll work on that right now. And then we have this last section, this last room. Uh, some nails. We're not taking that. We have a rabbit pelt. Wardrobe. We'll take that. How much is that worth? 340? Probably won't sell that high, but still. 
Nightstand empty. And one more cupboard to take care of. Little cupboard boy, what's inside? Empty. Alright, that'll do it for this dungeon. Let's get out of here, head back to town. Alright y'all, now that we're back in town, it is time to sell all the gear that we accumulated between the, the, uh, the couple of dungeons that we've done. So everything inside of my inventory, these books on the ground, this stuff here, obviously the identified and unidentified potions, and I have a couple of more items right in front of the jeweler. But we're going to start off with selling some books, so let me free up some space. Now I get the feeling between these two books, he's going to be basically broke, or at least really close. He does carry about 3,000 gold on him, so not too bad, not too bad. We are probably going to carry more gold than we can probably even deal with right now. Um, 135. Yeah, he's basically broke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So he couldn't sell all the books, unfortunate, but uh, we sold a decent chunk of them. All right, time to sell the other items. So let's go ahead and sell. Not even pay attention to how much this stuff is worth. We're just selling it all. The more expensive items are going to get sold down at the uh, the jewelers. Steph, oh my god, it's it's a um cursed one with negative fumble, more body part damage and crit chance. If I was a <laughs> Battle mage, that'd be awesome. There's actually two staves that we have that are pretty dope. This one over here is pretty awesome. It's also cursed. But uh, can't do anything with it, so we're going to drop it. All right, the last shop up is going to be selling the silver topaz ring, golden candle of brum, silver plate, ring, horny ink pot, and the last ring. Uh, we get made quite a bit of money uh, between selling those books and selling everything else. It's It's a lot. <laughs> it's definitely a lot. All right, y'all, and the last thing we got to do before we bring the episode to a close, talk to old Burn, grab our reward at 955 gold. Let's do this. Looks like the next contract for us will be the Restless Crypt. We'll be knocking that out, obviously, next episode. But uh, while we're here, purchase another net, drop it, purchase another claw trap, and drop it, because I left the other ones back at base. And that'll about do it. Let me take a quick look at the ground. How much money do we have? So right now we have 3,500 in our inventory. I don't feel like counting this up, so we're just going to pick it off the ground. Let the game count it for us. So about less than 20,000 gold. I thought I might have had extra money somewhere else, but maybe, I don't know, 20,000. That's what we got. Not too shabby. It won't be enough. Uh, so once we get to Amity level, we will struggle a wee bit. But the good news is one more contract. So once we finish with the Undead Dungeon, it is now Amity level. Uh, we can finally upgrade our gear. I don't know the exact gear to get. So we're going to have to figure that out. I do want to go heavy, but I feel like we didn't uh, put enough points into Vitality. And we're going to lose out on so, so much energy. And we already have such a high energy cost as it is that maybe going heavy, not such a good idea. Um, but we will see once we get there. But other than that, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share this channel with your friends and family. I'll catch you all next time. Bye.